Hi, I don't know who this message is for, but if you clicked on this video, then you will align with it. So my hunch is, it's addressed to you. So I'm here to tell you one thing, and I'll make it quick. I want you to keep the faith. I know you've been trying to manifest something specific. You might have been trying for a week, for a month, for a year, for 10 years. I don't care how long it is that you've been trying. I want you to keep the faith, but I want you to change one thing. I want you to really dive deep into yourself. Really dive deep into yourself. And I want you to ask yourself a question. Ask yourself a question. And the first answer that pops up is going to be it. Because a lot of people don't realize your self-talk is your higher self. When you're talking to yourself in your head, and you're having a conversation, and you're calculating, that's your higher self. So, ask your higher self this question. Why hasn't it manifested yet? Why hasn't it manifested yet? Ask that in your head, and the first answer that comes is correct. But until then, have the faith and dive deep to figure out why it hasn't manifested yet, and adjust. Life is about adjustment, friend. If you found a way that doesn't work for you when it comes to visualizing or believing or whatever it is, you change it. You find a way that does, because we're all different. Visualizing comes easy for some, no problem. They can see it in their head. They can hold it without their thoughts distracting them. Other people have ADHD, and they visualize what they want, and, you know, two seconds later they're lost in a thought, and they don't even realize how they got there. It doesn't matter. Everyone has something that works for them. So find what it is that works for you, and realize that your inner being, your higher self, is your self-talk. So, start talking to yourself, man. Start figuring out why you haven't received it yet. Write it down on paper if you have to. Again, do whatever works best for you. Remember, there's not a one-size-fits-all when it comes to manifesting what it is that you want. There really, really isn't. So comment down below, I am manifesting it tonight. Like the video if you found value, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you when we align once again. Thank you for watching. NASA finds genius brainwave. We only use 10% of our brain's capacity. This popular statement is neither true nor false. Thing is, our minds operate at brainwaves which have different frequencies and the theta waves are those that dampen as we grow up and cap our brain's capacity to just 10%. A recent NASA study proved that theta waves are at the core of child geniuses, allowing them to easily solve even the most difficult problems. Theta is most active when we're kids, but as we grow up, our theta drops, robbing us of that genius ability we were born with. The good news is, there are four ways to activate your theta waves back again as an adult and unlock your brain's power. 1. Meditation twice a day for 20 minutes. It'll start to turn on your theta wave, but it's hard and time-consuming. 2. Wake up at 4 a.m. Successful busy people like billionaires swear by starting their days early. For the regular person though, like you and me, it's tiring and close to impossible. We don't have the luxury of creating our schedules. 3. Use a biofeedback machine. This helps turn back on your theta waves. But an in-home machine costs around 7 grand. And in-person sessions start at 300 hr 4. Listen to a 7-minute sound. This one's the easiest, and it doesn't cost a fortune like number 3. Nor does it take a while to work like number 1. All you need is your AirPods or earbuds to reconnect with the brain power that's inherently yours. You can click on the video description link to listen to it. The sound reprograms your brain on a deeper level by creating a conducive environment for your theta waves to activate again. 19,389 Americans listen to it already. 
Click on the video description link to explore how a 7-minute sound unlocks your God-given brain power.